This is the insane 100 billion hotel where Ronaldo is staying with his family. 17 rooms booked and a price tag of almost $280,000, the Ronaldo stay in Saudi Arabia in this chic hotel. No shortage of luxury. Ronaldo and his entourage spend their first weeks in Saudi Arabia at the Four Seasons Hotel in Riyadh. There is a hefty price tag attached to that, but Al Nasser's latest edition does not have to worry about that. It is of course a temporary stay, until the Ronaldos have found a home in the Gulf state. But the fact is that Cristiano Ronaldo, partner Georgina, and the five children will not be short of anything during their first weeks. Not only them, because according to the British Daily Mail, a total of 17 rooms have been booked. The other family, friends, and security people will also move in. The Ronaldo family resides in the Kingdom Suite, the newest flagship of the Four Seasons with an area of 365 square meters. Entertain your guests with unparalleled views of Riyadh. Our newest suite extends from the 48th to 50th floors of the hotel, with a great living space, a private office, dining room and media room, that Kingdom Suite is described on the website. There is no trace of a target price, the suite must be booked privately. But to give you an idea, the slightly smaller, presidential suite, costs more than €3,700 per night. Of course, Ronaldo does not have to join a buffet with his family in the hotel. A chef would cook in his suite especially for the CR7 clan and Ronaldo can even go one step further. For example, there is the possibility to get a table for a romantic dinner with his Georgina on the Sky Bridge, the bridge at the very top of the Kingdom Tower. At a height of 300 meters, the couple could enjoy a beautiful view by candlelight. Daily Mail states that the group will stay in the hotel for a month, which would cost 280,000 euros. A lot of money. But Ronaldo earns about €250,000 a day and it is also expected that his new employer will foot the bill. Until then, they can enjoy the best food and the best views of the city from their temporary five-star home. Its royal suite is smaller, but at 2,595 square feet, it is still bigger than most apartments in Britain, where Ronaldo lived twice when he played for Manchester United. Staff have been told not to take selfies with the star. But he has been nice to guests and their kids and has been seen thanking hotel workers as he enters and leaves. Ronaldo has also been to some of the best restaurants in the Saudi capital. On Saturday night, he went to the Japanese restaurant Miyazo, which serves contemporary cuisine driven by passion, for an opulent world and a creative lifestyle. He was seen wearing a gold and black striped zip-up jacket and a big crucifix. Diners asked him to take selfies, and he did so while his security guards watched. Ronaldo has also eaten Lebanese food at the upscale Diria restaurant with a Saudi prince and the country's top sports officials. Georgina, who has 44 million Instagram followers compared to Ronaldo's 530 million, also likes the hotel a lot. This is because it's near luxury shops and is in a mall where she has been seen shopping at Louis Vuitton and Zara, which are less expensive brands. There are also tennis courts, a spa with a sauna and steam room, and massage services. If Ronaldo wants to make Georgina feel special, the hotel can set up a private dinner for him on the Sky Bridge at the top of the Kingdom Tower, which is one of Riyadh's most popular tourist spots. His hotel has promised to close off the whole bridge and set up a table in the center of the bridge. On its website, The Four Seasons says, a private dinner for two at Sky Bridge gives you Riyadh's most breathtaking view. The 300-meter-high bridge spans the top of Kingdom Center, where the Four Seasons Hotel Riyadh is located. It gives you an unbeatable view of the city below. At a table with candles in the middle of the bridge, our culinary team at Four Seasons will serve you a three-course gourmet dinner. Ronaldo and his family are staying in a hotel while they hunt down a good place to live permanently. Ronaldo and his family are likely to live in a prestigious part of the city, like Al Muhammadiyah, which is known for its high-end restaurants, or Al Naqil, which is popular with families because of its international schools. Both areas are close to Al Nasr's 28,000-seat stadium at Masul Park, which used to be called the King Saud University Stadium, and have a lot of high-end gated compounds built for Westerners. Many of them have their own swimming pools, preschools, shops, clinics, gyms, and restaurants, so people don't have to leave very often. The compounds let expats get together with other Westerners on the weekends behind closed doors, but alcohol isn't allowed there like it is everywhere else in Saudi Arabia. Websites for renting homes in Saudi Arabia don't list high-end rental compounds because expats employers usually rent them out privately. 
but there are some homes for sale in Riyadh right now, like a palace with eight bedrooms that costs 55 million Saudi rials, $12.2 million, and has an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a foyer with waterfalls, and three more villas on its grounds. The palace, which is in the Al Makkah neighborhood just three miles from Masul Park, is said to be part of Ronaldo's portfolio of eight other properties around the world. The palace has rooms for maids and drivers. A source from Al Nasser said that he is likely to play around 30 minutes in a friendly against Messi and PSG on January 19 in Saudi Arabia. This is three days before he makes his Saudi Pro League debut for his top ranked team at home against 8th placed Etifak. Riyadh is the capital and largest city of Saudi Arabia. The city is located in the central region of the country and has a population of around 7.3 million people. It is an important economic, political, and cultural center in the country and the Middle East. Riyadh has a rich history, dating back to the pre-Islamic era. It was a small oasis town until the 18th century, when it became an important trading center. In 1902, the city became the capital of the newly formed Saudi Arabia and has since grown into a major metropolis. The city is known for its modern architecture and infrastructure, including several iconic skyscrapers such as the Kingdom Center and the Al Faisalia Tower. The city is also home to several museums and cultural centers, including the Mars Mak Fortress and the National Museum of Saudi Arabia. Riyadh is also an important business and financial center, with many international companies having offices in the city. The city is also a major hub for the oil and gas industry and is home to the headquarters of the state-owned oil company, Saudi Aramco. The city is also home to several universities and research institutions, including King Saud University and King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. In recent years, Riyadh has seen a significant development in its tourism industry. The city has opened various tourist attractions and historical sites such as the Mars Mak Fortress, the National Museum of Saudi Arabia, and Al Mirabar Palace. The city also has a variety of shopping centers and recreational facilities, including several theme parks and malls. Overall, Riyadh is a dynamic and rapidly growing city that offers a unique blend of traditional culture, modern infrastructure, and a diverse economy. It is a city that has a lot to offer visitors, whether they are interested in history, business, or just experiencing a new culture.